It's been a couple weeks now since the live-action Avengers movie hit theaters. I saw it. I really liked it. it. wasn't without its faults, but it was really good. First off, I really liked Joss Whedon's direction. He's a genius. Second thing, I really like that there was a lot going on in that movie. They had many ideas. They crammed them all in. They made it very fast-paced with so much stuff going on here and there and everywhere. And it all led up to that final action sequence, which was very well done. What I didn't like about it, first off, Hawkeye. Jeremy Renner's a great actor, but his character just seemed underdeveloped in that movie. Now, this movie doesn't go beyond being a summer blockbuster. There's nothing wrong with that. If I enjoy it as a summer blockbuster, then I enjoy the movie. But I've seen a lot of other, or not a lot, but I've seen other comic book adaptations that are better. At the same time, my hype for the Avengers movie was killing me two years ago. It was killing me. But once I learned that Ant-Man wouldn't be in it, and that Edward Norton was dropped, my hype was brought down severely. I thought Mark Ruffalo did a very good job, but Edward Norton is one of my favorite actors. So you can imagine how disappointed I was when I found out that he would no longer be in the movie. Now, for those of you who are new to the Avengers, who couldn't get enough of them, and can't get enough of them right now, there's an animated movie that came out in 2006, made by Marvel Animation Studios, called Ultimate Avengers. It combines elements from the original Avengers comics and the Ultimates universe, and it makes a really good story similar to the live action movie, where Nick Fury and Black Widow are recruiting the team, getting everybody together to know each other, and take care of that villain. Now, it's rated PG-13, it's got grittiness, it's got great animation, it has great voice acting, the action sequences are awesome. It's a short movie too, it's under 75 minutes, and still it has a lot going on in it, and it's a very enjoyable movie. And it has all of the original Avengers members. It has Captain America, it has Iron Man, it has Thor, it has the Hulk, and it has Ant-Man and Wasp. So I remember seeing that movie years back and saying, I hope the live action movie is just like this one. But the studio just can't give you what they want, or what you want. They're going to give the audience what they want to give the audience. <laughs> um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. With the live action Avengers movie, it worked. But for those of you who want to see something more similar to the comics, or for those of you who want to just see more Avengers, check out Ultimate Avengers. And check out the sequel, Ultimate Avengers 2. The second one, I don't like as much as the first one, but I still like it. But again, check those movies out. You won't be disappointed. <laughs>